Guys, we set ourselves a challenge to fly the whole way across the world to buy and convert a van from an empty shell into the ultimate off-grid tiny home on wheels in only 30 days. And our time is nearly up. And by the end of this video, guys, no matter what, this van is going to be ready for this training night back. I literally don't understand what is going on. But guys, I really need this to work. We just need to hit the road, guys. Sorry for that momentary lapse of judgment. So let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We're back with a vengeance. Yeah. We mean business today. Yeah. This is hopefully going to be our last day. Apart from like a few bits and trims, but last day. So we have a lot we need to get done. Anything bad? Oh, um, yeah. Lots to get done. I'm, I'm, I'm hyper. I'm okay. excited. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Okay, so we've each got our little jobs to do. On my agenda, I am going to finish these door sills. I done the one in the back door, so now I just need to finish the one in the side door. It's a little bit more tricky. We've established that I need to go to Bunnings to get a longer bolt for the vent. I also have to cut a hole in our worktop for our sink. And what's on your agenda, Kevin? Okay, first thing on my agenda, guys, is um, I'm trying to make cheese on toast, which I'm ridiculously excited about. And then, need to insulate and finish the carpet on the back door. Cheese on toast and carpet! Ah! As you can see, we're going quite delirious towards the end of this van build. Imagine when we're just sitting on a beach. Oh, that will be so With great. the van behind us. <laughs> Killy, the toast is burning. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, baby. Guys, cheese in a hob of a grill was probably my best decision of this van build. <laughs> You know you've got hands. Mm. <laughs> does life get any better? It does. Mm. All right, guys, time to get to work. I'm about to reveal a secret to the true source of my power. The orange hoodie. The orange hoodlum. That's what they call me. Back in the ghetto. When I was on the streets. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys, we are delirious. Look, here she is. The purple, I don't know, what is purple? Purple nerple. <laughs> the purple nerple. <laughs> it's time to put in a sink. Perfect. Guys, that is actually useful for once. <laughs> Guys, we got a hole. Look at that so round. I mean, a little bit wonky here and there, but I tried to get it as as round as possible. That is so round. I think it's probably going to be a little bit too small, but I'd rather it too small and have to sand a little bit out. Oh my word, I'm so excited. That's pretty damn good. That surprised me how good that was. Wow. Happy? Very. That's what it's all about. As long as Kimmy's happy. I don't know why, but this is really sexy. Yeah. <laughs> you love a good hand sand, don't you? <laughs> I still have to cut the hole in this worktop. I mean, that's pretty neat. I think it looks pretty neat. <laughs> Done. So I've got both holes cut. You're gonna need to wait because this is a glue sensitive situation. A glue sensitive situation. So it's time. Sensitive. Guys, this is a glue sensitive situation. Sorry. You shall go on hold. It's a glue sensitive situation. <laughs> so look at what Keely's doing up here. It's looking so good. If you want a tip how to make your upholstery finish nicer. 100% mask off all around it because the spray glue is a menace. Like it literally goes everywhere. So tape, tape, tape. Um, I'm getting better, guys. It looks amazing. And then it'll look like this. It looks so good. A few things we're realizing as we continue to build 
is just how dark it is. And I know that that's this, the dark stain of the roof. Because we're not putting in a, a full 12 volt system, we're just having these like little USB rechargeable touch lights and it just touch on. And then look, check it out. You can dim them. Dimmable. And then just touch to go off. How cool is that? Nifty gadgets, eh? Technology these days. Have you tried it yet? Am I the first one to You're the first one. I was waiting for you. Aww. This fits so, so perfect. Okay, so this is our tap from the foot pump that we bought that doesn't actually work. So I think we're still going to use this. Uh, we're going to think, put it right here. Guys, did I tell you that I made this sink for $10? <laughs> Just blew my mind. Can you not film me? I'm tweezing my chin hairs. <laughs> okay, so after all of that malarkey, trying to get that sink and everything done in situ, I have to take this unit out anyway, because our wastewater pipe has to be cut through the ground. There's not going to be any chemicals or anything in our wastewater and we'll be able to pull it in so we can be discreet if we need to be. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can we get back to work please? I'm on the last hair. This, okay. This van isn't, isn't going to convert itself. You know, I've got to keep on top of this chin. <laughs> Oh my word, so good. Philly. That looks amazing. I'm a carpenter. You are a carpenter? A carpet, a carpetsman? <laughs> time to go to Bunnings for hopefully the last time. Famous last words. Guys, we said it all day today that things were happening and happening things did. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm pretty sure we're there. Things happened and we got there. To finish this conversation, I need to have some sleep. So I'll talk to you in approximately three, two, one. Well, good morning. <laughs> Guys, what a night. We've done so much. <laughs> Guys, how good is this looking? It's so cute. Honestly, so shocked with the progress that we made. But let's address this list and see if we actually done everything that we set out to do. Guys, 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 guys. Guys, there's a list. This is the list. Okay, so finish the installation. That was on the back door and around the back panels. That is all done oh i got stuck because i pushed it so hard with excitement that's all done install the floor sills we have now done along the side guys i even carpeted in around it so it looks super flipping cute things be happening fit the roof vent done and done philly stayed up late installing that so it's all done install worktop Guys, they're looking fabulous. Yeah, they look great, they look great. Fit kitchen sink and tap, so the sink's done, the tap's mm. done. Just as we said, we're waiting for fit pump. Install fixed solar panel, still waiting for that to arrive. Put up the lights, done. 
but we do still need to put up the fairy lights, so... Stop adding things to the okay, list! Okay, 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 okay. And <laughs> carpet the exposed metal. I think we should have a rule of like, once you write the list, you can't add anything else to the list. Dingo's to-do list is flipping done! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been 29 days since we've started this challenge, which means we have absolutely smashed it out of the park. Mm -hmm. And even Steve had it for two days, so that's two days that we weren't even working on it. It's like 27 days of finding van and building a van. This means we can actually hit the road and travel now. I am so excited. Thank you for joining us on this crazy journey that we actually did. We actually freaking did it, Billy. Guys, we freaking did it! <laughs> you heard <about> it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. Um, yeah guys, it turns out it's quite hard to do the finishing touches on the road while trapped in the van in the rain. Yeah, so the main building of the van might be done, but there's a lot of like aesthetics and like storage solutions and just the little finishing touches that we still need to do. And it really pains me to say it, but we have to write another list. Yeah! No! <laughs> We got back late last night and we're in a little bit of a funk. We did do a few things to the van, but we'll show you those after we write this list. Mm -hmm. What's first? Okay, first second. I write the title. Guys, come on, honestly, do you think this is gonna be the final list? So one of the things that we did do while on the road was Philly installed the plumbing for the tap. However, it developed a leak. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Why does plumbing never go to plan? We gotta screw the foot pump into the ground. Yes. Kaylee wants a tile, a ceramic tile backsplash. I was like, you know those acrylic plastic tiles you can get? They're super easy, you just stick them on and that's it done. Guys, guys, guys. After all the effort we put in this van, do you think I'm gonna finish it off with a plastic sticky back tile? Install. We've got a reel to put up as well, just to hang our coffee thing on. We've also got a mirror to put up beside that. We also got these cool placemats that we're not going to use as placemats. We're going to use them as decorations. Guys, this is what this first little excursion was about. It was just seeing what kinks that needed to be fixed. So they're going to get fixed. All right, before we can do any work, there's one thing that we need. And some of you might think it's coffee, but actually we're going for a cup of tea. Guys, what were we thinking? Tea? <laughs> Sorry for that momentary lapse of judgment. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> we need your support. <laughs> now more than ever. Okay, so a lot of you guys have asked us throughout this build, like back when we were Bunnings and everything, how do you guys charge all your tools? How are you keeping this all going? How are you managing to edit while doing all of this? And genuinely, we could not have done any of it if it wasn't for this bad boy. Look at it, beautiful. So yeah, I wanna say a huge, huge deep thank you to Blue Yeti for sponsoring this video because they sent us this out before we'd even bought a van, we had planned this power bank because we knew we needed good power for this build. And this has been incredible. Throughout our whole build, it kept all our tools charged, it kept all our lights charged, our cameras, it's powered our laptops for all our editing. And now in the van, we have it tucked right in under the bed. You've seen that it fits perfectly. We're charging our fridge off of it. We're keeping all our lights and bits and bobs in this van charged from it. 
And it's literally just incredible, guys. It, we couldn't have this van without it. Obviously, right now, we keep this charge from the power in the warehouse. It gets plugged in to keep it topped up. But on the road, when we get to park ups, we've got a big 350 watt Blue Yeti panel that's gonna soak up the sun rays when we're parked up. And ultimately, we're gonna have solar panel fitted on the roof just to keep this thing topped up while we're on the road. We're gonna run a little cable down here and have it permanently plugged in. So I'm super excited. I genuinely cannot thank Blue Yeti enough for sponsoring this video. This thing's an absolute beast, guys. We'll put a little link down below if you want to go check them out. Because this thing's powering everything. So thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we have this wheel foot pump that sucks the water in through the inlet and purses it up through the outlet. Here, that will spit into our sink. So everything works fine apart from the fitting that goes under our tap. So I'm just going to hope I can squeeze the fitting onto the end of it and tighten it a lot with like a little jubilee clip. So I'm going to have to just notch out a bit more of this wood on this underside of the cabinet. Then this, obviously, screwed on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Perfect. Water. Fingers crossed you don't see any leak. It's liquid. Oh, oh my word. Wow. Damn it, it's still leaking. Back to the drawing board. Damn it. I can't fit the foot pump until I fix the leak. I can't fit the countertop until I fix the leak. I can't install those tiles until I fix this leak. I can't put up the reel because I want it to be in the center of the tiles, which I can't do until I fix this leak. Uh, I can't put up the mirror because it has to go beside the reel that I can't put up until I install the tiles because I can't fix the leak. So I can do this, this, and kill it that. I've literally been standing here for 10 minutes untangling these lights. I did it! Is that like a Spice Girl reference? Who would have thought that this is such a hard decision? I went to Bunnings, I got some plumber's tape. We're ready to smash this. He goes nothing. But guys, I really need this to work. Like, I really need this to work. Feels good to me too. Guys, I think we fixed it. Who'd have thought? Some plumber's tape. Oh my goodness, thank goodness. Now we can finish this flipping heck. Guys, we're Tyler's now? <laughs> Can I go anywhere? I like it. It's good. So these ones are two circles and then this one's a little frilly number. I'm gonna put them up and then Kaylee can come and she can decide whether she likes it or not. What do you reckon? Does it look like we're at the Ulster Folk Museum? <laughs> Kaylee has finished the upholstery and it's looking fabulous. It took me so long, man. It looks good. Okay, does it look like your granny's house? Yes, but in a good way. Oh my word, I love it. It looks like a 300 year old cottage. I literally love it. Could we be any more earthy? Like the tones of this van. I'm not gonna lie, a little part of me was thinking that all these little aesthetic touches were gonna ruin the openness of the van, but I have to say, it actually, it looks like a little cottage. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you approved. Mm. Yes. What am I getting to take? Your upholstery. Oh, yes. That you spent like four hours on. Honestly, the amount of time that you've done all that other stuff, honestly, I hate it so much. Mend upholstery. Done. Done, done, done. This is almost done. This is not done. This is almost done. I'm okay with finishing them all tomorrow. <laughs> no, but seriously, I can't finish the tiles until I grate them. So let's just do all four in the morning. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Good morning guys and welcome back to the true reality of living in a van while trying to convert it. This is what it usually looks like. <laughs> we tried to stick the fairy lights up in a few different locations last night just to get the feel and they're just too short. One of the cool things for you guys about us making videos is that you don't have to watch us clean up. Check this out. Let's grind some tiles. The Grindmaster. That's me. Yeah, that is you. I loved doing tiles in Brighton, man. Yeah. In our old van, I absolutely loved it. But in our old van, we had proper spacers and like the tools and all. In this van, we're using cardboard and I'm about to use my Mikey to grout. Some of them are stuck in rightly. Kelly, 
really starting to grow, but I'm not sure if I like the white. I don't even know if they're doing grey. Guys, we're not fully convinced on the white grey. It looks all right, but is all right good enough? <laughs> that is the question. They only sell it in white. Apparently they only sell this grey in white. So we're making do with white. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Do you like the white? It's growing on me. Keely, I think it looks good. I think it looks all right too. This is the final trip to Bunnings. I'm not holding my breath. But I'll try and make this as quick and as painless as possible. If only it was as simple as that. Okay, so while that dries, we got another couple of goodies when we were out that we have to show you. Quite a few of you have messaged us about the fact that our van's LPG. Do not worry guys, we know there's few and far between LBG stations in the outback, which is why we also have a petrol tank. And now <laughs> we've got some backup jerry cans. And we also got a chair for Keely to set her ass on. No chair setup would be complete without one extra thing. Guys, we got an awning. <laughs> we have been thinking we probably need an awning for a while, but we were just like, oh, is that too extra? But then one of you guys that watches these videos was like, guys, I'm worried about you going out in the Australian sun. Please let me buy you an awning for your van. And they bought us an awning, which is just like so kind. And now we're going to be protected from the sun. And uh, people are good. Okay. I am then place a clamping plate on the bottom underneath your rack. I have to go to Bunnings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've got these little air brackets and then we've got these straps and then this is gonna go underneath that and sandwich these together. So I've also bolted the front end and also the back end. So I'm just gonna screw these straps on and then we can open it up and check it out. Does this awning not look so good? Now we look like a legit camper van. <laughs> like it looks so good. Okay, so now what? Does this come off? Probably should have been instructions. Nah, instructions are for losers. <laughs> oh, my like so good. It's so good. Even come out like this. What are the instructions? <laughs> instructions are for losers. Mark, this is so good. What? That's so strong. Oh my goodness, it's so sturdy. It's so sturdy. It's so sturdy. Check this out, guys. Yeah, you can't see me, but guys, look how freaking cute it is. It's incredible. It's literally, can you imagine us in the outback? Oh my word, I can't wait to leave. This has leveled up everything. Can I tick, can I tick? So, tiles are installed. The rail is up. The decorations are up, looking cute. Install an awning, this is massive. This job, wow, 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 it looks so good. Tomorrow we're picking up uh, solar panels so that we can get charged while on the road, not only when we're parked up, and also we're gonna be picking up hopefully our other fairy lights. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, please, please, please can this video be the end of this van and the start of our trip. I literally can't even. You okay? Uh, just stressed. I just have a whole lot of feelings about this van and the fact that we're not on the road yet and that I'm concerned about a lot of things and I just have a whole lot of feelings and I'm just processing them. Feels like we've lost all momentum. The van has been finished for like the last week. Yeah. We've just been trying to tie up loose ends. So we've been waiting for the spare tire that's the right size, the same as our other ones. 
but the issue is it's just taking forever to get here and then we're just twiddling our thumbs. Mm -hmm. I've just lost, I don't even care. I just want to go. I'm like, if it breaks down, we'll figure it out in the road. Do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, there's only so much pre prepping we can do before we're just stalling leaving, you know? We just need to hit the road, guys. We're just gonna pack the van so that we can go on a dime. Does that mean really quickly? I think so. Okay. Does it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just accept. It's just on a dime, guys. That's what it is. We're gonna t we're gonna leave on a dime. We're gonna leave on a dime. But that's... short stopping distance. Because <laughs> that's all the money we'll have left. <laughs> Guys, I just spent the last like 15 minutes explaining to you about solar panels and then realized that nobody cares. <laughs> Long story short, I got a solar panel, <laughs> brought this one back, it didn't work, had to get another one, and now both of them work in series because apparently some solar controllers have a minimum charge voltage and one panel just didn't cut it. Let's install these bad boys. got a bunch of cable ties to attach the wires just to the roof rack and then I'm gonna try and just sneak the cable in here and into this Guys, I don't think it needs to be said at this point how grateful we are to Steve. Guys, I'm just trying to jump to sell it. Guys, we're going. We're going. <laughs> we're going. Like actually, like no matter what. We're going. Yes. 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 We've packed the van. We've got some rubbish to throw around in Steve's bins. The warehouse is looking pretty empty without our crap spread out all over it. <laughs> Do you guys remember this list? <laughs> This was from a year ago. Feels like it. Uh, well, we did all of it. That was the final thing. That was the final thing. Final thing. Final thing. Oh! Oh my goodness, I'm at wait. With joy this time. Billy, let's hit the road. 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 Hulk angry. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, give yourself a black eye. Okay. <laughs> Morning, guys. See you later. Bye, Steve. This guys, this is awesome. You think so? It is so freaking cool. I just love this home that we have created for for ourselves and for potentially other people after us. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh, I love this bed. We did it. I mean, it's far beyond the 30 days at this point, but that was things out of our control. Everything within our control, we got done. Thank you guys so much for being here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we appreciate it. All of your comments and all of your support like really motivates us to, to continue doing what we're doing. Yeah. And we're super excited to explore the Outback. But right now guys, we're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna get some much needed rest. And you'll have to come back next week to see whatever we get up to. Because <laughs> we don't have a clue. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>